Hi Aries, welcome back to the channel. Lisa here with Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do your mid-September reading. We're going to see what the energy shows here for you in love. As always, let me know what you're trying to manifest in the comments. Be positive, be specific, so that energy comes right back to you. Because the universe is always already or blah. The universe is always listening is what I'm trying to say here. Okay, let's see what else here. Some of you uh, may have Leo in your chart or maybe you're dealing with a Leo. Okay. I felt there's strongly somebody thinking about you. Okay, we've got thinking person here. Someone's thinking about you. We got number 47, which is 11. We have another one here. Some of you are seeing uh, repeating ones or 11, 11, or you will be. So I see somebody thinking about you. Someone who has a bit of ego, bit of ego, bit of pride. You do have the angel of strength. I feel like this is somebody who has been holding back holding back i don't know why they're holding back um you do have attachment here a number five i feel like this is somebody who you feel conflicted about okay but there's some sort of attachment here between the two of you but i feel you got two fives here you may be seeing five 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 too and I'm going to say here strongly already before even pulling the tarot, I feel there's somebody that you're conflicted about. And I feel you don't know if this is somebody that you want to continue with or have a new beginning with. Okay, it does feel like there could be some sort of conflict between the two of you right now. You do have the sun card. All right. So I don't want to say anything more because I want to pull the tarot and see what comes through. This could also tell me uh, when it comes to someone, you could be uh, displaying discipline with this person. Like, even though you may still have feelings with this person, look at that. You have your energy and the page of pentacles. Well, some sort of opportunity is coming your way. I can say strongly with that energy already. Could even be a message. We'll see. You have justice. Five of swords. Yeah, see, there's the conflict I talked about. Seven of cups. King of Cups. Tower. Five of Cups. Just want to see what's below here. Two of Cups. So Aries, I feel that's why I'm getting that energy. I said I feel like you may have feelings for this person, but you're unsure if you even would entertain some sort of new beginning with this person because I do feel there it was some sort of argument or conflict that happened with this person. I do see Page of Pentacles. This person's been thinking a lot about you and I feel like they're going to take some sort of step or send some sort of message here after some sort of conflict. I feel with the tower it's going to happen when you least expect it. So I feel, I'm trying to think when I'm filming this, this could happen mid-September to the beginning of October is what I'm feeling. But tell me more about this Page of Pentacles. So again, the Hermit. They've been doing a lot of thinking about you. Nine of Pentacles shows me they may be seeing you right now really independent, attractive, taking good care of yourself. They may be thinking, okay, is the opportunity, will Aries give me the opportunity again? You got the wheel here too and the page of wands. Yeah, so th this is someone who has been thinking about how to change things. 
and I feel like they're going to take the step and I feel that page of wands there it, it's going to be communication some of you could be dealing with another fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius oh I just picked up the deck there's the star card Aquarius energy uh, this is someone who is going to try to heal the situation between the two of you that whatever this conflict is tell me more about this conflict or this five of swords energy So I feel like you're going to get a message from this person. Like I said, I do feel there's that page of pentacles again. Could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I do feel you're going to feel very conflicted about this person. The Five of Swords again and Hierophant, Taurus energy. I feel like this energy feels that whatever the conflict was between the two of you or why you're feeling conflicted is that I feel like you're just really frustrated with this person or this person's energy feels very exhausting, very exhausting. See, in the center of your read, you have the seven of cups. You're not too sure if this is somebody who is healthy for you is what I'm getting. Let's clarify that seven of cups. Tell me more about this seven of cups because I see here five of cups and justice. I feel this in some sort of way, this person did something that it wasn't good for you. It, you know, they didn't treat you right or they weren't honest or upfront with you. Tell me more about the seven of cups. Yeah, see, again, yeah, you're questioning. Yeah, you're questioning this. Queen of Swords. It's exactly what I said. You're questioning whether this is somebody that you potentially could even now see yourself happy with with that Sun card because whatever happened between the two of you, like I said, it was very exhausting and it may be may have been very exhausting on an emotional level for you. You have the two of wands. See, I feel a lot of you are deciding whether or not to even continue this situation. Um, and you got the, the five of wands too. See, I feel like you're struggling with this. Nine of swords. feel like you're struggling because I do feel like there's an attachment here. And I said that earlier, I said there's an attachment between you and this person. I feel both of you have feelings for each other. This person has regret. Let's clarify. Let's see if we can get some more about this five of cups. Tell me more about this five of cups. See, again, they have feelings for you with the king of cups, three of swords, queen of cups. There's a the counterpart to the king of cups and the nine of cups. and the tower they have regrets here because they do have feelings for you I do feel like they hurt you and um, in some way this could be on an emotional level I feel like too this person was very uh, too comfortable with you too comfortable with you let's see why the king of cups is here tell me more about this king of cups tell me more about this king of cups six of pentacles judgment eight of wands queen of swords death rebirth card here well it feels like this is someone who didn't give emotionally. Somebody in the past, I feel a lot of you, this is someone where things ended between the two of you because I feel in the past on an emotional level because this King of Cups does not wear their heart on their sleeve. On an emotional level, this person wasn't able to, to express to you what you needed to hear for you to feel emotionally secure. That's why you're struggling here because you don't feel emotionally secure with this person. Now, some of you, this could be somebody who was giving to other things in their life or got also distracted by other things in their life. You do have the Eight of Wands and the Queen of Swords here. 
So I feel like, you know, with their communications with you, they were very detached. There was somebody who really couldn't communicate how they felt about things, which leads me to that justice energy. Probably somebody who couldn't be honest with you about where things were. And I said it here with the angel of strength and the lion there. I feel like this is because this person had a lot of ego and pride that got in the way. Tell me more about this justice. Tell me more about this justice. Seven of cups. Oh my gosh. Hangman. Yeah, this person left you hanging. Three of wands. Four of pentacles. This person held back, I feel, strongly on an emotional level. Seven of cups. They may have even left you confused about things. Hangman and the three of wands. Yeah, I feel like you've been waiting for some answers or the truth about something or just how they feel. And this is what this person couldn't do. But you're going to hear from this person. I think I'm going to clear. I'm going to ask three of cups. Yeah, they're going to try and connect with you again. Why did this person hold back in the past about the truth or, or how they were truly feeling? Mm. Well, this person is because there was somebody else here. I kind of suspected that, but you have the Nine of Pentacles, you have the Three of Cups, and you have the High Priestess. I feel like there was somebody else they were communicating with. I mean, to be honest here, this is somebody who is uh, acting very casual. So I feel like this person, somebody uh, that you don't know, they were talking to somebody. This is something they were being secretive. That's why they could never be honest with you or give you the truth. Why is this person contacting Aries? That's why they have regrets. Huh. Oh, look at that. Now they realize that you are the one. Four of Wands energy, you have the Seven of Wands, and you have... So this person's having some epiphanies and realizations. They're going to try and mend things with you. They're going to try and take action here. Again, could be another fire sign. You have the Four of Wands. Look at that. And the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, they're going to try and heal things with you. So either you were in a relationship with this person, or I feel this is someone who realizes that they could have had a great relationship with you. But they betrayed you. They were talking to somebody else. They're, they're, there's a third party here. They're, this person was connecting with somebody else. Is strongly what I'm seeing. Because I'm seeing this other person as a single person. Yep, there it is. Betrayal. So, uh, the phone is ringing. Another confirmation there that uh, this person's going to contact you. So they're going to try and fix things with you. They're seeing you as somebody very strong and somebody that is very secure. But I'm going to say here, I feel like you are questioning this. So let's pull some more cards and then I'm going to get some guidance here. What else does uh, Aries need to know about this? Mm. Yep, look at that. Judication and wealthy person. This is judgment. This is somebody coming back around. Now, this could be somebody who maybe they are wealthy, but they're about their money. You do have bad health. See, and that's what I said you're questioning. You're questioning whether this person is healthy for you. Now, maybe this person has experienced some bad health. Sometimes when we go through an illness it really makes us think about what's important in our life and that could be these epiphanies and realizations this person's having but it also could just tell me is someone with judgment here you're going to have to make a judgment call is this person somebody healthy in your life that you want in your life but this person's still attached to you and they're thinking about you a lot let's see what else comes there toil and labor 
main person, great fortune, and poverty. Well, I don't know why I'm getting this, Aries. This could be somebody who, I don't know if they have money or not, or money's just important to this person. This could be somebody who has like unhealthy spending habits. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I really feel here you want somebody who's going to put in the work, okay? You got main person here, right? Somebody who's going to make you number one in their life. You have the great fortune. That's what needs to change. You need to see big change. You know, the only thing that concerns me is this poverty. And then you, oh, I just said you need to see big change. And look, there it is, change. So, there's definitely an energy of change going from a situation that's lacking and here's that love message that I see you also have occupation which talks about effort and focus and you also have here the journey so there is an opportunity here for you and this person but I feel like you're really questioning you know should I even put effort in here in this connection or is this person holding me back from my happiness? So let's see what your guidance is. Oh my gosh, first card out is the thinker. Repeating fours. Change in the wind. We have the thinker and the change in the wind. And that's what I said. You're, you're going to need to see change. And you're going to need to see change quickly from this person is strongly what I get here. You do have loyal heart and you also have here flexible. You, you know what I really get here? Okay, maybe you want this person to be loyal to you. But I also feel here um, spirit is showing you like you need to see balance. You need to see that there's effort from this person. You need to see that you are important in this person's life. And I feel like what Spirit is saying here is like, if you don't see that change quickly, it's going to be time for you to make a decision, okay? And maybe some of you are already making a decision. Oh my God, I just said it. Here's fork in the road. Making a decision. Because the fork in the road is a four. You got repeating fours here. This is about stability, and then you also have community. I feel like a lot of you are making a decision here about, do I move forward? Do I make new connections? With, you know, and maybe some of you are already making new connections, but the guidance is to make new connections, all right? And to start moving down a new path. This person's gonna show up no matter, you know, no matter what you do, but you need to see the change. That's what I see here. And I feel like your intuition is really questioning whether this is somebody you want to bring back into your life. But I feel like you're being guided here to make new connections, open up your possibilities. Because, you know, if you've ever heard that saying, a zebra doesn't change their stripes. So that's what you have to think about, okay? Is is this a, a pattern with this person? So Aries, I hope this reading helped you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.